welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be going over the fastest way to cut this carrot into a little carrot stick. Carrot sticks are perfect for packing in lunches, picnics, having around the house when your kids keep asking for a snack. So today we're just going to go over the fastest, easiest way to turn this into the perfect snack. We're going to start with just a regular carrot. Of course, you have your cutting board, your chef's knife, and I like to use a Y peeler. And anytime I'm in the kitchen, I always have my towels nearby just to clean up the mess that's for sure gonna happen. All right, so we're just gonna start by slicing off the edges or the ends of the carrot. Push those to the side. Now using your Y peeler, you're gonna start in the center of the carrot and you can just slide all the way to the end. My carrot's a little weird shape, so I'm gonna have to take those edges by themselves flip it over and just do it on the other side. Once I'm done with all of this, I can take all of this and add it to my kitchen compost. Now that our carrot is ready, we're gonna slice. I would like to start at the long end. Remember, I hold my fingers curled around, curled under, and I'm just gonna cut this into thirds. These are about the same size. I've had a lot of practice. This one, however, is a little weird shape, so cut it off. Here's a snack. Now what you do to make sure these are the exact same size is you're gonna hold on. You can hold on to the edges. You can make a little rainbow. I like to hold into the middle. And I'm just gonna slice it on one side, turn it around, and slice on the other side. I'm gonna do that again to the next part of the carrot. This one's a little thinner. So this one I'm not gonna cut into thirds. I might just rainbow go under and cut it in half, like that. And this one is also smaller, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Rainbow, cut it in half. Now I have all of these carrot slices that are roughly the same size. I'm gonna take these two that I cut together. I'm gonna to put the flat side down on the cutting board. Not the wobbly side, the flat side. It's always safest that way. And then I'm gonna just cut into even slices. Whoops, there we go. Now these all have flat sides, so I can just go back and cut evenly. Again, this one is smaller. If you have a carrot that is smaller, you don't need to cut it into thirds. You can cut it into halves. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna do the thirds on it. And this one, I can also do thirds. And there you go. Now we have beautiful carrot sticks, perfect for lunch, plus a snack for mom.